Hello. I want to talk to you a little bit today about um, oral analytical services. I know that some of you uh, don't know much about it. There's a lot of people in the automotive world that that uh, think it's a joke. I know a few technicians that, that was ta talking about companies that uh, send their oil to the lab instead of changing it out. And, uh, you know, there's a reason your doctor sends your uh, blood and urine to the lab so he can get a better look at what's going on in your body. And the same is true with the, your engine oil, transmission fluid, uh, power steering oil, uh, differential fluid. Just about any, any type of fluid. You can even send your coolant and brake fluid to have a check. Uh, brake fluid, uh, the, the main thing to look for is the uh, copper content. And uh, I want to show you some. Uh, I was introduced to this lab from... Uh, Bob the oil guy, I think that's the name of his website. And this lab is uh, uh, called Blackstone. And I want to uh, show you my results. And I run a, a standard test and a specialized test on this. And I want to try to explain this to you just a little bit. Give me a minute to uh, get focused on this. I know it's not a very good copy because my, my tone is about dead. But you'll, you'll get the general idea from this. Okay, this is the, the report that Blackstone emailed to me. Can uh, read the information here. This is on a, a, a Chevrolet 350 engine and a, a 97 model truck. And uh, I had a problem with uh, contamination. And this lab, lab result uh, kind of confirms it by doing a specialized test. You my pen here. The main thing you want to look for is... Right here on my pen, it says iron. As long as this radiance is below about 100, you're good. This one's showing 18. And then aluminum is, is like on, off, off of your pistons. And uh, maybe you where your camshaft rides. This one's 6. That's pretty low. But it, it should be a, a, a low number. Chrome is a, a 1 on here. That's very good. That's usually off piston rings. And uh, copper is usually off of some bushings. That, that's a low number of 2. Lead is off of your uh, usually your crankshaft bearings. This one's showing four. That's that's extremely good. And uh, ten ten is goes along with the lead. It, it should be a very low number. Uh, some of these are just additives. Uh, like like Molly, that's that's an additive. And uh, silicon is normally uh, uh one of the properties of dirt and uh, sodium is kind of a gray area for me, but, but they're considered to be contaminants. And these are other additives. And your zinc and phosphorus levels are anti-wear additives. These are running about 700, 800. And this particular sample had a bottle of STP added to it. So these uh, zinc and phosphorus levels are going to be a little bit higher than normal. Usually around six to 700 is what you're going to see in a virgin oil. And... Uh, this I could be doing this where you can see what I'm, I'm talking about. You come down the page here to the very bottom. And your uh, viscosity at 100 C is, is this one is showing 6.9. That's uh, in the 20 weight grade. It's, it's, uh, it's falling out of grade. It should be between 9 and, and 12 for a 30 weight. And this is showing 2% fuel dilution, but that could be from the uh, contaminant, I believe, was poured in it. The TBN, they, they don't do a TBN on a standard test here, but... And the TAN is a... Uh, those, those two go side by side. Depending on uh, TBNs for a crankcase fluid, and a TAN is for a non-crankcase fluid. And that determines how long the uh, oil is usable. And this ISO code right here... Okay, y'all can read that. This is how dirty it is. This was the special test I was talking about. This is a particle count. This is just absolutely filthy. Anything above 20 on the first number is, is very dirty. Generally around uh, 15 to 17 is the condemned limit for a lot of fluids. And this particle count says this oil was filthy and when you rub it in your fingers you can feel good in it. 
And that, that goes back to the contaminant, I believe, is added to is this. Um, so I'd encourage you to look up the ISO code on the internet. And there's a lot of good information out there that explains it. This is uh, 4 microns, the first number. And these uh, readings are on a one, a 1 milliliter sample. So this is, uh, can't remember, like 160, 180 uh, particles per milliliter of fluid. And the 22 is, uh, um, I'm thinking it's 40,000 on a 14 micron size. A 14 micron is big enough to pass through the filter. All these will pass through the filter unless you have a bypass cartridge. And I wanted to, I, I wanted to kind of explain this just a little bit. And you can see the website for, for the lab down here. You're more than welcome to, to check them out. In fact, I would encourage you to. And uh, to have the standard test on here, the, the top half of this page is uh, they charge you like 25 bucks. But it's uh, money well spent if you're looking for a problem. And uh, if you want to, to determine if your uh, 3,000 or 5,000 mile, mile oil changes is, is, is holding up well, I would say uh, do this test before you do your change or at the time of your change just to determine how dirty your oil is getting. I used to test mine about once a year just, just to verify what's going on. But this uh, special test I did, I've been doing that to determine how much dirt was in the uh, actual dirt was in the oil and how fine the particles were. Because that, that's a diagnostic uh, figure for me right now. So anyway, um, anyway, this is what's uh, kind of been bothering me. You look at my other videos on this channel and you're going to see that, that I've been having some issues for several months due to uh, some malicious intent. And uh, I wanted to explain this whole report to you just a little. I've got several of them here. I've done transmission fluid, power steering, and, and they all have that. Uh, they're all nasty on that uh, ISO code. But, uh, I really believe in, in uh, spending a little money on this report, even if I only do it once a year. It gives me a general idea. Um, a lot of times in a diesel, you'll find that the, uh, a leaking injector will show up on here by having uh, excess fuel. And other than that, it, it's good to know what, what the, the, the wear rates are on your engine. If, if you're having uh, bearing problems, you're going to have uh, high levels of lead, and then copper is going to be some kind of bushing wear, unless it's a, a oil cooler cartridge. But th this is what I have today, so thanks for watching, and, and I hope this helped you out a little bit.